Hi everyone, it's me, the Shakta Oracle, and I'm making this video to celebrate Pamela Coleman Smith during Black History Month. It's so important that we talk about the people that created the magic that we are in developed in today and I wanted to share a bit about her this is a picture of her her nickname was Pixie and she was a queer black woman if you look her up on Wikipedia it'll say that she's British and yes her dad was British her mom was Jamaican and she spent time in England and New York and in Jamaica and she also was one of the first people that I know of that have actually written down some of the Anansi stories okay and if you know anything about Afro-Caribbean history and African diaspora and storytelling then the Anansi stories will mean something to you and if you don't you can go ahead and look it up because it's a very important part of history and it shaped a lot of storytelling in the Caribbean as well and throughout the diaspora into America so I wanted to talk about Pamela Coleman Smith uh, Pixie, who was also a queer person, if I haven't mentioned that all already, and her deck, okay? I'm going to say her deck because when this deck really came out, it came out under the name of the publisher and of Arthur Waite, who was the person who wrote the little booklet, like the description of the cards. But it was her art that's in all of the cards. This is all of her art that is in all these cards here. And if you look really closely, you'll actually see her sigil at the bottom here. That's her name. Those are her initials and it's on every card. She was an artist. She was a publisher, a writer. She went to Pratt Institute when Pratt was maybe six years old. Okay, so like 19 or something. And she was about 15 years old when she went to Pratt. Okay, and she impacted the world of spirituality. She impacted the tarot world. I mean, there are so many people that go to this deck. And this is probably not the way the back would look if you haven't if you don't have this version of it the original version of it has like a crisscross blue and white like picnic uh picnic blanket sort of look but the deck that i have actually is the pamela coleman smith commemorative set okay and it has some of her artwork in it and she's also done artwork for bram stoker for his book, I think it was called like the white, the layer of the white worm, which is about Ellen Terry, an actress in the early 1900s. Pamela Coleman Smith was part of the Golden Dawn, an occultist group in the early 1900s that were mostly white people that were actors and writers and publishers that were creating magic together. They were doing spell work, they were learning about the occult, and they were actually drawing from practices and ceremonial magic that goes far back as ancient Egypt, okay? So she was amidst this crew, and she was going to school in Pratt as a 15-year-old. She was spending time in Jamaica, literally logging Anansi stories which are passed down by spoken word okay and she's doing all these amazing things yeah uh, the deck originally was called the writer wait I mean yeah the writer wait deck right and her name which is Pamela Coleman Smith was not on there sometimes you'll hear people call it the wait Smith deck I call it the Pamela Coleman Smith deck because that's what it is okay her art comes alive when you connect to this deck okay and it's important for us to celebrate her along with all the scientists and writers and revolutionaries and mothers and fathers and children and transistors in Black History Month. So thank you for tuning in and please go ahead, look up more about her, do your research. There's little things coming out here and there, um, but she's a mysterious and special person, a special queer Black femme who impacted the spiritual world and has affected all of our lives who are out here doing spell work and reading the tarot and all those things like her work impacted our work so really a shout out to her and so much love for her her birthday is this month february 16th so you can celebrate light a candle think of her sending her her some vibes okay and thank you for watching